some uh, electric telecasters I'm holding a uh, 2248 ivory uh, this guitar is totally original I don't know maybe the strap buttons are original that's about all I can find uh, it's about as straight as it gets um, they had four other models they had a 2238 which was an all-black solid body uh, in fact that uh, Buck Owens on the wall back here is well, it used to be a 2238. They also had a 2253, which was a walnut, you know, see-through stain, solid body. They had two thin line, you know, F-hole models, a 2255, which was blonde and had two humbuckers, probably the rarest of the five. I've, I've only seen like two of them ever. Uh, and then the 2270, which uh, was another see-through walnut stain, but it had a uh, the F hole and it's a uh, it's a really pretty guitar if you got one give me a holler um, they're pretty easy to spot they've got the uh, output jack right on the control plate here uh, there's no hole on the side or bottom like a regular Telecaster would have uh, we think they were made by Fuji Gen because uh, there is uh, almost identical to the Ibanez Telecasters that they advertised in the 72 and 73 catalogs and we know those were made at uh, Fuji Gen. I'm going to do a close up here. Hopefully my camera will focus on this uh, serial number sticker here. Uh, you can see it's serial number 0048 I'm sorry 49. That's one of the first 50 made. It's got a five piece neck. You can see there uh, these are just the simple covered tuners not uh, sealed or anything. Here's the uh, leaf truss rod cover. Uh, it's got pearl dot markers up until about the 17th fret. Well, not about exactly the 17th fret, and the uh, 12th fret is just a single dot on top. Kind of interesting. It's got a Coke bottle bridge here. Uh, I've got the ashtray, but I usually play with it off so I can mute the strings. You can see the uh, chrome covered rear pickup here. Uh, super microphonic. You can hear, oops, there it is. You can hear this thing a mile away, anything you do. What can you say? In fact, that's the one thing about the, the electronics on these guitars are kind of primitive. You play uh, too loud, you're going to have some howling going on. Um, and the backup pickup is uh, really bright. Dare I say harsh, it's, it's really bright. And the front pickup's really mellow. Almost sounds like a jazz box. I usually end up in the middle somewhere with both pickup sounds. same riff on all three pickups and uh, you'll hear the difference there.
really inexpensive, uh, fun guitar here. I've seen these as cheap as $150, $175. Uh, and real fun ride.